Hello YouTube, so today I'm going to be showing you how to um, how to make your own factory server on Windows. So you can use this as a dedicated server if you would like. Um, it might not be the best way, but it's a way and it saves you having to spend money on paying for a server. So, um, firstly what we need to do is we need to get the server files. So um, open up File Explorer. And um, we need to go to where our um, where our Factorio is saved. Usually it'll be under C, Program Files x86, and it'll be under fact be under Steam Library. Um, yeah, but I I have my stuff saved in a different place. Or we can also do, you can right click Factorio, go to Properties, Local Files, and then you can just hit Browse Local Files. Might be slightly easier, but uh, it's also good to know where it's saved. So, um, what we need to do is copy all of these files. So you can do that by right selecting all the files by clicking, dragging, then right click, copy, or you can just press Control C. And now we're going to make a directory to put our files in. So um, I'm going to put it on this drive, and I have the folder for it already. So I have it called Factory Servers. You can name it anything. It doesn't really matter. So these are my servers that I have. So I'm just gonna call this YT Test. And uh, then you want to paste all the Factory files into there. And that'll um, that'll be used to just uh, start the server in headless mode. Please note that uh, if you're going to play Factorio and host a server, you're essentially running two Factorio versions at once, except one just doesn't have graphics. So, oh, uh, you also want to make sure everyone that, that's playing on your server is using the same version. So if you go to Factorio, Properties, and then Betas, you'll be able to select what version you want. I'm using 0.16.x, and the latest for that is 0.16.30. So now, uh, thing. And we're gonna go to, to Chrome so we can grab the server settings. So um, you can go to Factorio.com, I think. I think that's it. Yep. Uh, download headless. We're not gonna actually use the headless version of this. Then we're gonna go to experimental releases. And uh, well, you can go to stable releases, but it depends on what version you have already. So let's go to, so yeah, this is like the Linux version, but uh, you need the settings from here. So if you show this in folder, I'm just gonna move it to, actually, doesn't really matter. Okay, so we have it here. So um, I have WinRAR installed, um, but if you don't have something that can extract this, you can go to like, uh, wait, let me see. Wait, tar. xz to zip, and then uh, you can go to cloud convert, select the file, and uh, where is it? Shows somewhere. I saved it in here. I don't know where it is. Right, I'm just gonna search. Ah, oh, here it is. Okay, so you select the file, and then select uh, what you want to send it to. We're sending it to zip. And then we hit start conversion, and then that'll extract. Uh, so it does take a while. So I'm just gonna cancel this. Basically, you'd get the zip file, and then you right click and hit extract. But uh, we don't have. You don't have to have that. So I'm just gonna extract with WinRAR, which will be faster. So there we go. So WinRAR will extract, and then we'll get the server settings. Oh, it's done. I went faster than I thought it would. Right, let's grab that. Wow, then. Uh, it, it likes to run away from me. I'm gonna search for it again. There it is. 
Okay, Factorio, then we need to go into data, and then server settings example.json. So we're going to select all of that and copy it, copy it, and then we can close out of there. You don't need to save changes if it asks you. Then we're going to go to, we're going to Google search JSON, all right, uh, JSON viewer. So this is just so we can format it nicely. So there we go. That's formatted well. Then you copy that. Now we can go to close out of there. Go to here. I'll put the settings in the description as well. And we're going to call this server dash settings dot json. Okay. So here we have everything that we would need. So the name. Uh, we can call this anything, we can call this YT test, we have a description, uh, tutorial, oh, come on, tutorial, and uh, this is the maximum number of players allowed, so max underscore players, uh, zero is unlimited, so we're going to leave that unlimited, and public, uh, that's, that is common visibility. That's just a comment that doesn't change anything. So visibility down here, public, true, land, true. So public, it shows up on the server list when you look for servers on Factorio. And LAN, it'll show up on your local network when you select LAN in the multiplayer menu for Factorio. And then here are the credentials. So you have your username, password, and here's the token. So, um, these are the last things that we're going to need. So we go to Factorio. We can log in quick. Wait, I don't have my login. Uh, I think I know it. Either way, you just put the your login the credentials in the username and password settings for your server settings. And uh, yeah, now we can save this by pressing Control S X, and there we go. Now we have our server settings down. Uh, what we now have to do, we need to create our save folder. So to create the save folder, we're going to need to open up Factorio. Or not our save folder, a save file. Sorry. And we're going to hit play. New game, generate, and this will just generate. Uh, it'll be a normal world that you want to get through all the menu. Hit escape, then save. We're gonna save this as YT test. There we go. We're gonna quit. And exit. And now we have to go grab the save file. So to grab the save file. We're going to hit Windows R, and then we're going to type in percent app data. I can't type percent, and that'll bring us to our roaming folder. So under our roaming folder, there'll be a Factorio. There it is. Saves, and then we need to locate what we just made. So yttest.zip. Then we can exit out of there. Paste it in there. And now we need to make our start file. So we're going to create a new text document server.bat. And hit yes. Now we're going to right click it, hit edit. And actually, you might, depending on your settings, uh, doing that might not work. So we're just going to open Notepad and then do that. So what we need to do is we need to type in start, and then if you want, um, if you want a log to show up in the command prompt for what's happening in your server, uh, you need to do slash wait. If you don't want that, then you don't have to, but you probably should. And then we're going to type in the directory for the Factorio executable that we put in this folder. So it's bin slash x64 slash Factorio dot exe. Then we're going to do dash dash start dash server zero. Oh, actually, no. 
Uh, and then the name of your save. So we called it yt test dot zip. And then wait, let me check what else. And now we need to do dash dash server dash settings quote server dash settings dot json. And then another quote. And now we can set the port if you want to. You don't need to set the port, but I've been having trouble with the default port. So we're going to set port 5000. Actually, no, I'm going to set this 5001 because I already have one running there. And uh, we'll get to port forwarding after this. And then we need to do dash dash no log or no dash log dash rotation. That makes it so that it doesn't take the log from the actual game you're running. If you're not going to be running Factorio on the same machine, then you don't need to worry about this. You can, you probably actually want to take off the no log rotation if you're not going to be playing Factorio on the same machine or running another server. We're going to hit enter and down here we're going to type in pause. That'll just make it so that if the server crashes, it won't just exit the command prompt. We can see what happens. Now we're going to press Control S, and then bring up the save, and then we need to make sure we're in the correct folder. I'm going to save as type all files, and then set the file name to server.bat. Save. Then we need to exit notepad. Now if we open server.bat, it should run. Then uh, Windows Security Alert. Um, make sure you only want uh, private networks checked. If you really want to, you can do public networks, but I don't think you should, unless you're going to be running your server at McDonald's, so don't. <laughs> then we're going to hit allow access, and here um, we can see our server log and everything that's happening. Um, so we're going to press, so to close the server, you're going to press, you're going to make sure you're in the command prompt, firstly, then press control C. You might have to do it twice, and then it'll save the server, and it'll close the server too. Uh, then we can type in Y to close the batch job. So now what we need to do, we need to forward the port. So we're going to go to 192, or actually, um, open the uh, command prompts by hitting the Windows key, typing in CMV. Then we're going to type ipconfig. And look for where it says IP4 address or IPv4 address and make sure it's on the correct adapter. If you don't know what adapter it is, it's whatever one's not blank and it's actually makes sense. Like it's not going to be a virtual box adapter. If you're not using Ethernet, it's not going to be Ethernet. So, yeah. So IP4, B, IPv4 address is that's our IPv4 address. So, and then here's also our default gateway. So um, we're going to type in our default gateway into um, the URL bar for Chrome or whatever web browser you're using. Hit enter. Then it'll ask you for um, username and password. So the default is uh, username. The default username for most routers is admin, and the default password is password. So um, you can check to make sure that you have the same default or sorry <clears throat> so some routers have different defaults uh you could probably look up to find what kind of router you have to check what default it is so all of this is going to be different so you're not going to have the same um router as mine or you're probably not going to i don't know you might so yep so now we need to go to advanced advanced setup port forwarding such port triggering then add custom service and now we're going to type in a service name you can call this anything you want i'm going to call it uh, yt test and then uh, come on then we need to type in external port range um, our external port is what we said in the uh, server.bat file, so 5001, 
and the internal port range is going to be the same. Now for the internal IP address, it's what showed up in the command prompt. So our IPv4 address, 192.168.1.4. We'll type that in, and mine has like a little special uh, select thing, so we can make sure that's correct. Your IP4 address may change. There's a way to make sure it doesn't change, except I don't know where. I don't remember where it is in my router, and it's going to be different anyway. And we're going to hit apply, and that'll apply it. And now. We need to get the IP of the server, so go to ipinfo.com, I think? No. .io. Okay, here we go. ipinfo.io. And right here, it'll show us our IP, then our network. So we're going to copy our IP address, so double click it, or you can just click and drag over it. Press Control C, or you can right click and copy. And we're just going to leave that copied. Now we're going to open up Factorio, or actually we're going to start the server again. So, so we're started, let's open up Factorio. Oh, uh, sometimes that happens, so just, when that happens just close your server. Open up Factorio. And then, reopen the server. There we go. Usually that doesn't happen, but sometimes it does. So then you have to go to play, multiplayer, connect to server. Then we need to type in the IP address and port. So I thought I copied the IP address, but apparently I didn't. And now uh, we paste that in there. Then we need to type in a colon and then our port. Then we connect. It'll load the multiplayer map. The following mod script files are not identical between you and the server level oh okay we don't have our token in oh and we didn't put in our username and password oh yeah that you know maybe you should have done that okay <laughs> so uh i'll do that quick and then uh then it'll work okay there we go now uh now the server should work so i forgot about that and now that will join it'll be the same world that we had before so Let's say you set up your own Factorio server uh, on Windows 10. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like or subscribe. And after you subscribe, hit the bell icon to get notified of new videos. And yeah.